Certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your First Alert update. Now for this Monday, it's looking like a pretty normal day around the area. Pretty pretty much at average with those high temperatures this afternoon. We'll be up to around 36 degrees and our wind chill still a minimal for today too with just a light northeasterly wind and that will keep some cloud coverage for today. Potentially an isolated flurry in the thumb this morning, but that chance of very much on the low end as we go through the daytime though we may see a few peaks of sunshine into our western counties, but generally just expecting a cloudy day. We'll still stay mostly cloudy even to tonight but for your Tuesday. A little bit of a better chance to clear out by then. I still think the model is overdoing some of that clearing, but still certainly a better chance for some sunshine for Tuesday compared to today. But for the second half of this week, that's where some changes do come into the forecast. What we do know so far is that we should see more rain to the south, some mixing farther north, and eventually this does turn to all snow by Friday and into the weekend. But as we're still a few days out, there's still a little bit of refinement that's needed with this, more so the timing of any of that mixing and any potential freezing or roadway impacts that that might imply. But also once we head towards the end of the week, how much snow can actually accumulate out of this system. We'll also have some drier air initially on Wednesday fighting off the arrival of that rain that eventually moves in Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Notice through the daytime on Thursday you see more of that rain to the south snow up north. It's that mixing right in between. So we'll really need to monitor when that moves in on Thursday, but also where across our area that moves in. And then by Friday again, just looking at mostly all snowfall by then with more of a northerly surge of colder weather. And once we head into your Wednesday night, we'll also keep an eye on the breeze looking like we can have some wind gusts around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So not really a high wind with this, but still fairly breezy at times as that system does pass by. So that'll be another facet of the forecast that I keep an eye on. Seven day forecast has middle 30s all the way through Thursday, even Friday by the weekend though. So after this low passes by, that will uh, set off some colder weather for the area into the weekend, even next week. By then we'll look at high temperatures more consistently closer to that freezing point. We'll also keep you updated on how things update or rather with uh, how things unfold with that system as we go through this week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.